When there's a bill that ends up on my desk as president, you, the public, will have five days to look online and find out what's in it before I sign it. During the campaign, candidate Barack Obama promised to post bills online for five days after they passed Congress, and he would give the public a chance to comment. It seemed like an easy pledge to keep, but President Obama has broken it almost every time he's signed a bill. For example, when he signed credit card legislation last month, it was a mere two days. The least I can do for you is to sign the thing. Various watchdog groups have been wrapping his knuckles. The pledge is meaningless, they say, because after a bill passes Congress, nobody can do anything about it. At the same time, he's broken his promise. It's kind of like the old Woody Allen line, the food was terrible and there wasn't enough of it. But apparently it's technically complicated, especially if the White House is going to display public comments. How do you deal with hundreds of thousands of people potentially commenting on a piece of legislation? Who reviews those comments? Can they comment to each other? So Ellen Miller is executive director of the Sunlight Foundation, a nonpartisan group dedicated to government transparency. So I suspect they're sort of stuck in the, how do we do this? Of course, politics are also part of the mix. The bill signings reward members of Congress with a photo op, and they also give the administration a sense of forward momentum. In any case, the White House is now changing the terms of the pledge. Here's what they said in an email to the New York Times. Once it is clear that a bill will be coming to the president's desk, the White House will post the bill online. They didn't say when exactly, but they said this would create more transparency because so many people come to the White House website. Of course, it's also a way for President Obama to keep his promise. But that raises another question. Was this pledge a good idea in the first place? Once a bill is passed, it can't be changed. The conference report is adopted. A better idea, some say, is for Congress to post bills before they start debate. This would actually give people a chance to influence the outcome. Congressman Brian Baird, a Democrat from Washington State, introduced a bill last week to require the House to post bills online for 72 hours before beginning debate. Of course, the White House can't tell Congress what to do, and they haven't commented on this bill yet, but Ellen Miller, for one, thinks they should support it. If I were writing their script, I would say, we've changed our mind about this. You know, be you know, straightforward and say, you know, this, this uh, concept uh, we believe in, but we believe that more effective citizen comment comes before Congress considers legislation. Nobody thinks the five-day pledge is the most important campaign promise that Barack Obama made, but it does show that it's a lot easier to promise to change Washington than it is to actually change it. This is Catherine Seeley for The New York Times.